Okay, so I'm going to show you a little bit about the new quiz feature that we just rolled out within Go Soapbox. I just created a, a new event here, and you can see that there's now this button that says Add a Quiz. We'll go ahead and click that, and we'll call this quiz Chapter 1. You now have the option to create a quiz, which is a series of multiple choice uh, and or short answer questions. So I'm going to go ahead and add in my first question here. And then I will select what answer is correct. And this will be important when you go and export the results of your quiz afterwards. So I'll go ahead and click add. And you can create as many questions within the quiz as you want. So I'm going to go ahead and create a few more questions, but I won't make you watch it. Okay, so I've completed adding questions to my quiz, and you can see that they show the list of questions here, um, and this is a combination of short answer questions uh, and multiple choice questions. So if I go back to my event page, you'll see that your quiz now appears on the page. And as a student, I can go in click start this quiz and begin answering the questions and once I'm done it will say that I've completed this quiz and I can go back and interact with other features on, on Go Soapbox um, or finish up whatever else I was doing so once all of your students have completed the quiz you can go and export the results and receive a spreadsheet with the student's name and answers to the uh, quiz questions and whether or not they got those questions right. To do this, just go to manage this soapbox, scroll down to the bottom where it says all exportable data and click it. And you'll see that a uh, the spreadsheet is automatically downloaded for you. So once I open up the spreadsheet that is downloaded, you'll notice that I now see the names of my students and their answers to each of my quiz questions. The questions um, for the quiz are shown here at the top and the answers below the question. The answers that are highlighted in green mean that the student got the question correct and in red means that the student got the question incorrect. You'll notice that these questions uh, to the far right don't have any highlighting and that is because they are open-ended questions. So as a teacher, you're not able to preset a uh, correct answer. Um, so any open-ended questions remain with no highlight. This spreadsheet will also give you the results to the any active polls that you have open in your event. Um, again, there's no, uh, there's no correct answer identification within the polls, but it will show you the uh, name of the student and their answer to each of your active polls.